Just a quick one today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 661 points at the time of this filming. This is all because of some weak economic news we got with the GDP report. GDP increased 1.6% in the first quarter, less than expected. So how much was expected? Let's talk about this and pay attention to each of these periods to see how it's advancing. Economists surveyed by Dow Jones had been looking for an increase of 2.4%, following a 3.4% gain in the fourth quarter of 2023 and 4.9% in the previous period. So we went 4.9% in the next period. The reading came in at 3.4%. And then the next one was 2.4% and now 1.6%. Do you feel the trajectory of this economy that I've been explaining to you for ages now? You see what's happening is shrinking. There's all sorts of problems with the manufacturing numbers. There's all sorts of problems with the trade deficit. And I'm also going to talk about what happened the other day with gold dropping $80 an ounce in a matter of hours. That was, some people believe, the elimination of the risk premium because all of a sudden the war with Iran and Israel seems to be cooling down. But I want to tell you something that I wrote to all the subscribers of the Peter Leeds Army yesterday. This part of it's very important, is that all the price drivers for gold are still in place, and the global conflicts just seem to be getting worse, not better. All the drivers for gold are still intact. Central bank buying, retail purchases, I'm talking about China there, global risks, complete collapse of the US dollar, the commodity super cycle, and more. And what more is there? There's more such as people are now aware of gold. They're noticing it. It's making its way into the media. Anyone who's got an eighth grade understanding of economics understands that these silver and gold mining companies are tremendously undervalued right now. The ones that we talk about in the Peter Leeds newsletter, not all of them. Some of them have problems. Some of them have less than 10 years in their reserve life remaining where they're going to be running out of all the resource and then what happens to the shares i could tell you but that's a story for another time and you shouldn't be buying that stock anyway so when gold came down that was when israel and iran seemed to be cooling tensions but that was ironic i said in the newsletter because it's so close to when putin was talking about going to war with europe that the war with europe is much more likely right now than any time since world war ii and what happened besides that poland has now, Poland on the front lines with Russia, has now said that they will now accept nuclear weapons on their soil. There's a lot of nuclear-powered nations, Israel, France, United Kingdom, America, China, North Korea, possibly Iran, Russia, Israel. There's other countries that also accept nuclear weapons that other countries build. Oh yeah, and India and Pakistan. If you have a couple nuclear weapons, isn't that like enough? <laughs> I don't mean to be laughing at that. So what do I always tell you about gold? Don't worry about gold. It's not going anywhere. And if you look at this chart of gold, you see that, oh yeah, it's come down recently. seems like a lot and pretty quickly. But really, what are we talking about here? This is foam on a beer. And I apologize if I seem low energy today. I haven't had any food in 61 hours. I'm just about done my 72 hour fast. I'm putting a video at the end of this video you can click on about one of my favorite videos about all the benefits of extended fasting. Anyways, I hope you guys like what we're talking about with the oil, gold, the economy, macroeconomic events, global conflicts, how it's all going to be affecting you as the U.S. economy declines in significance. If you like that kind of thing, not that you like it declining in significance, but if you like that kind of content, please click like. It helps share the video to others. Also, please subscribe to the channel. We'll keep an eye on all this stuff for you and help steer you towards all these best opportunities that are about to come up.